Charlotte and I started this book club where we read the trashiest crime novels and then talk about how much we love them. Oh yeah, I should add a tally for yesterday's match. That game took a lot out of me. But then, they all do. Watch and learn, Steph. The master is about to go to work. Aw, that's adorable. You think you're the master? Prove me wrong. That's the plan. Hey, you got something on your face. Oh, no, no never mind. That's just what your face looks like. Okay, but seriously, you really do have something on your face. Just shut up. Oh, it's a look of profound shame after losing to me yet again. Maybe your cat just doesn't like losers. I kind of feel bad for that one. I take... What? Could it be? <laughs> After all his big talk, has Gabe Chen been humiliated in his own house? You know, gloating is not very sportsmanlike. Rung by rung, sucker. Fresh goodies. Time to find your home. Sometimes I stand here and gossip about myself. Damn, Ninja Cat, I just filled this up. This thing's really coming along. But wait, there's more. Throw Ethan a little curveball. Let's see what Ethan does with that. Backseat bingo. Why does that sound familiar? Kasha? Can't afford them yet. You can't just let customers pluck up all the good stuff. The campaign's kind of on hiatus right now. Oh shit. I need to give this back. I should probably stop sourcing my daily caloric intake from this table. No matter how many times I clean it, I can't get rid of the smell. This is like 95% Twizzler wrappers. Hope the last person who used this remembered to clock out. 
we can't afford 15 years of overtime. Found this just dumped in a corner. I'm hoping the wiring's still good. I won't rest until you're more sticker than support beam. I might have been a little optimistic about the demand for these. Oh man, I'm only 20 years too late. Pull yourself together, Misty. Still haven't figured out what's making my snare buzz. Ugh. Legends tell of a distant epoch when more than one employee's coat hung from this rack. This is what it's come to. Bribing my cat with drugs. Country is one part heartbreak, one part liquor, and then a motherfucking fiddle that can rock your ass. Step one of my grand plan to corrupt the youth. Wait, which one did Gabe do again? Get it? Steph picks instead of staff picks? Ryan made me do it. I already tried rubbing his belly. Still amazes me that we now sell comics. Props to Thanor for drumming up so much interest. Jeff Betty's been getting a lot of traffic from this Bolton board. Think I'll ask for my cut and risotto. I dragged this whole ass chair out here and I haven't even used it for a nap yet. Criminal. Dude was camped out here for three hours. Didn't buy a thing. On the plus side, he did leave all this shit for me to clean up. I've lost 20 years of lower back functionality using this goddamn relic. Ryan says it's state law for every place of business to feature living greenery, and I still can't tell if he's lying. Definitely getting this one framed. Let's see what I have left. Oh good, all of it. All right, just a few chores left. Work mode, go. Ooh, what have I got to do? Hey, you're on the air with Steph. Hey, all right. Um, thanks for taking my call. Don't thank me yet. What can I predict you for? Well, I don't know. I'm out here for a three-week stay in the Firewatch Tower outside of town. I was actually just kind of hoping to chat with someone. Dang, three weeks alone in a little box? I thought I was a boss for surviving six hour shifts in mine. What can I say? I'm a level 90 loner. How about yourself? 
probably closer to like level 10. All right, fireman. Since this is still a fortune telling show, how about this? You can tell me my fortune. <laughs> well, I'm no radio psychic, but I'll do my best. What would you like to know? What are the odds I end up being alone forever? Hmm, okay. Is this a fear or an aspiration? Well, it's the natural endpoint of my current trajectory. And I guess if I'm gonna end up there, I want it to at least be on purpose. I don't have a crystal cootie catcher or whatever to look into, but I can tell you this. Getting away from everyone is the easy part. Sometimes it's even too easy. Yeah, I know all about that. I thought you might. So I learned this the hard way, but the idea of being alone can be a lot more enticing than the reality. And too often, the people who want to be alone real bad they're the ones who end up calling into radio shows just to hear a stranger's voice. But that wasn't really a fortune, was it? Ah, you got me. I'll have to do better next time. Thanks for the chat. And thank you for listening to KRCT. Fall. Fall Same shit, different day. Kind Haven listeners, by now you've heard me talk about everything the Black Lantern is famous for. Great food, great beer, great service, and great atmosphere. So what are you waiting for? One more reason to go? Then consider. Happy hour, right? Yes, happy hour, where the already great food and beers are even cheaper, but only for an hour. What a deal. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, you can now look forward to... Live music on Monday evenings. Or maybe Sunday evenings? If you show up on Sunday and there's no music, that's how you'll know it's on Monday. Drop by today and tell them Steph sent you. You're on with Steph. Ah, yes. Okay, I need your help. I'm in trouble with HR. What did you do? I screwed up. I was chatting with my coworker about the gym. We were talking about leg day and she said she wanted to work more on her lower body. Here it comes. What did you say? I said her butt was fine as is and she shouldn't worry about it, which was dumb. Yeah, you think it's dumb to talk about your coworker's butt? I know, but does it really need to be a whole big thing? I'm not that kind of guy, really. But now I'm freaking out. Can you tell me what will happen with HR? I'll see what I can do. Ten, the most nothing number on the die. A conversation with HR. Not much to go on from the dice roll. So, what do I think this guy deserves? I'm back. Ready to face the music? Let's just get it over with. You sit down with HR in a hard plastic waiting room chair next to a hang in there poster from the 80s. For 45 tense minutes, They drill you on every word of your company's sexual harassment policy, ultimately deciding that you need to apologize to her. Are you sure? Because she laughed and said thanks. It was our coworkers that decided to make a big deal out of it. Really, dude? I'm sorry. It's just everyone's acting like I'm some sort of a creep all of a sudden. Okay, relax. 
no one is calling you a creep. I know you weren't trying to make her uncomfortable, but you clearly did. So instead of telling some radio DJ that you screwed up and you're really a nice guy, why don't you prove it and apologize to her? Yeah, you're right. Please direct any further questions to your HR rep. Thanks for the call. haven't exactly been getting the cream of the crop for this job opening. Mm -hmm. 